and every evening we are blessed with a special topic and i don't know how the lord gives us new topics every day and every week we have one session to talk and every day there are question answers and it seems there's no end to it every day there are new questions and i have got seven questions lined up for the next seven days today's topic sip samatma sip ashok chotwani sip bliko sip pankaj sip ansur sip chidanan sip sanjeev ji sip bud sip ashok maheshwari sip atmatre sip tina sip chandra sip girish sip krishan sip bliss sip parvatiyama and the rest of you are still coming out of the call 7:30 doesn't seem to be a very easy time for people i believe uh, but it by 8 o'clock you have everybody on the call what have we done to this beautiful world sip has created the moment i say this many of you masters immediately what do you say in your head comes the thought oh but sip has not created sip has sip manifests as this world this is immediately your thought process right because you are blessed to be enlightened when i look at people when i look at this world i look at this samsar there are so many people who are struggling there are people who are struggling without food there are people who are struggling without proper basics but i am talking about all of us who are living in this world and therefore today is a very different topic you look around this beautiful world i am in the maldives and when i look at the white sand and the turquoise waters and the sunset today i saw a very beautiful sunset some of you watch the status i think you'll see every day some status going up so the world is so beautiful so amazing you look at the skies i don't know how many of you watch the sunrise but every morning the sunrise is beautiful the sunset is beautiful the night sometimes you look at the dark night sky the twinkling stars i get amazed i don't know how many of you get amazed if you look at the stars how many stars hey if you look at this, millions sometimes millions of stars and what is that world out there we are struggling to take a spacecraft to the moon which is so big so so close by but what about those stars that are far away if i look at the birds in the maldives the huge bird called the heron the heron has huge wings huge it's a tall bird maybe 3 feet tall like a flamingo taller than a flamingo sometimes there are small birds tiny birds that sing yesterday i found two blue and yellow parrots very beautiful parrots i have taken a status it will be out maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow and i you look at these birds and they fly in the sky they are free they are free to fly do whatever they want to do so when i look around me the world is so beautiful there are mountains and oceans and landscapes and meadows and roses and flowers and fruits and trees but how many of us are fortunate even to look at the world like this when i look at the world i say jahan jo ye hai sundar itna hai har shay jo ye hai ye hansi kitna hai pahade hawaye panchi aasman mein phool jo khilte har shay jahan mein sundar jo jahan sach mein wo prabhu hai prabhu ke bina kuch bhi na is it so difficult to see that all the divinity all the beauty around us is divine is it so difficult to see it's so easy because the there is so much divinity there is so much divinity in the beauty and then sometimes how many of you have a pet dog a pet cat some people they tell me they have a pet turtle you know everybody has a, has some pets some people have parrots 
and the parrot is in the house. So what I'm saying is there is beauty everywhere. I went to Antarctica. I was blessed to go to Antarctica and see penguins. Like in the Maldives, we see dolphins. And I don't know, when you look at some of these creatures, even a simple bird, a simple bird that sings a song. How does this bird sing a song? That day, Ashok Dichani. Ashok is there, right? What did Ashok Dichani, what did he sing that day? You remember? Ashok Dichani said, Chanda metu, taro metu, panchi metu, full podho metu, pahado metu, nadio metu, harsha me prabhu, tu hi tu. Dekho tujhe prabhu, me harsha me, har insa me prabhu, tu hi tu. Chanda metu. This whole world has divinity all around it. But can we see? Can we see the beauty in our parents, in our friends, in our loved ones? The world is so beautiful. What have we done to this world? Ye jag itna sundar har shay khub surat Sangeet se bhara hai Rango se saja hai Prabhu sab mein prakat hai हर शय तो वही है प्रभु ने जो बनाया उसमें वो समा है पहाड़े और नदिया पंछी आसमा में ये तो इतने सुंदर ये तो सच प्रभु है ये तो सच प्रभु है वी आर नॉट एबल टू डिसाइफर दिस ब्यूटीफुल वर्ल्ड Instead of enjoying this beautiful world, we get lost in this samsara. Today's topic is this. What have we done to this beautiful world? The first 10 minutes I spent to you to tell you how beautiful this world is. And God has given us eyes to see. Just imagine. Just try. Shut your eyes for 30 seconds. Just close your eyes. Imagine I've closed my eyes and I can't see you. Huh? And 30 seconds, what? I cannot see you. Imagine that I lose my eyes for the rest of my life. I cannot see anything. Have you ever stopped and realized the gift of your eyes? Imagine you're looking at me and you're deaf. You can't hear. You can't hear what I'm talking. Then what happens? Sometimes we have a cold. We can't smell. Do you enjoy the food? If you have a blocked nose, you don't enjoy your food. Sometimes you have blisters in your tongue. If you have blisters in your tongue, what happens? Are you able to enjoy what you eat? My dear friends, what I'm trying to tell you is that we, we have forgotten we have forgotten the power of the divine that is within us, the soul, that spark of life, that we are sick. <laughs> but this samsara, this samsara that we are talking about, we have forgotten who we are, the beauty of this world. Today's session is just to pause, just to pause and to realize what a beautiful world God has created. What a beautiful world God is manifested as. And we are chasing. We are chasing crazy things. Somebody is chasing a cigarette. He's addicted to a cigarette. Somebody is chasing a bottle of wine. Somebody is chasing an individual, a person. And we believe that one person can make us so happy or so unhappy. Somebody, somebody is full of anger, hate. Revenge, jealousy. Because we have not realized that this world is such a beautiful Leela. If only we pause to enjoy the Maya. How many of us understand this is Maya? Remember that song we sang a few days back, you remember? Aapke samsar mein kya khub surat roop hai Maya mein Main fas gaya to mera kya 
कसूर है सुंदरता इतनी अहम के तुझको प्रभु भूल गए तेरी ही माया के कारण तुझको प्रभु भूल गए वी हैव वी दिस ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग सेस दैट बिकॉज ऑफ योर ओन माया बिकॉज ऑफ योर ओन माया आई हैव फॉरगॉटन यू ओ लॉर्ड बिकॉज ऑफ योर ओन माया व्हाट डज इट से मंजो दिया मन मन इज माइंड राइट मंजो दिया ऐसा किया कि उसने सच छुपा लिया माया के साथ मिलके मन ने मिथ्य को दिखा दिया माया में सा जो डूबा प्रभु को वो भूल गया सिप को वो भूल गया माया को जो पा किया मिथ्य को जिसने हटा दिया सच का एहसास जिसने किया वो माया से आजाद है माया में मैं फंस गया तो मेरा क्या कसूर वी आर कॉट इन द माया एंड वी आर अनेबल टू बी इन सच आनंद वी आर अनेबल टू बी इन कॉन्शियसनेस कॉन्शियसनेस सीम टू बी सच ए सिंपल वर्ड राइट But how many people understand consciousness? Consciousness is a very difficult word. How do you get into that state of consciousness? That state of consciousness is there. It is because of consciousness you are alive. Then some of you wonder if the consciousness is there. Then how do we get to consciousness? No, you don't get to consciousness. Huh? Let me ask you all this question today. Let me see how many of you understand. How do you? If consciousness is already there, then how do I get to that state of consciousness? Remember this question I'm asking you all. Let me see who can answer this question. We get attached to my friends. We get attached to pleasures. Remember, pop. I told you, P O P P P. Prisoner of pleasure, possession, and people. And then we sink in this world. You know, it's it's great fun for me. You know, I'm you know, you know I'm very fond of chai. No? You know that I'm very fond of chai and coffee. I think you all see me, and sometimes it happens. I'm drinking chai. I'm drinking chai, and I see that in my cup there's a fly. I'm drinking chai, but in the cup there's a fly, and I know the story. The story is that little fly that went to the honey honey bottle, and wanted to taste honey. and after tasting little honey it wanted some more honey and some more honey and then its wings got stuck to the honey and it died this is the story of the fly in the chai the fly in the chai wanted the fly wanted to sip the chai and as it came into my chai it it died it started floating in my chai and mere mere chai bhi gayi my beautiful cup of chai is gone Because you don't feel like having the chai when there's a fly in your chai. So, my dear friends, we are like this fly. We want to sip some sara. We are not satisfied. There is no contentment in this beautiful world that God has created. Instead of living a life of fulfillment and contentment, we are greedy. We are so greedy that, like the fly, we also sink in the chai. instead of living as a divine instrument instead of realizing you are sip you are sip what more do you want you are divine you are a manifestation of god you are god aham brahmasmi shivoham my new book i just finished reading the new book today called shivoham it's going for going to be printed before shivratri i just finished the reading today in maldives for two days i was busy reading this book instead of living as shivoham we are living as man as woman and we are like the fly in the chai we are caught in this material world huh? what is the biggest problem today people say the biggest problem is the mobile phone everybody is a slave of the mobile phone i was watching some fun speaker yesterday he was asking people do you do fasting so they said yes somebody said yes 
I do fasting once every Monday, every Saturday. Then he asked them, real fasting is one day no WhatsApp, one day no Facebook, one day no Reels, one day no Instagram. And I don't know, but everybody was laughing. He told one day no Tinder. I don't know what is this Tinder. Then I asked, uh, I asked that um, one assistant of mine, what is this Tinder? They told me it's a dating app. So I mean, people have fun trying to have online dating. So we are all caught. And because we have caught, we have lost sight of God. We have lost sight of this beautiful world. We have lost sight of the truth that every particle of matter is divine. Every soul is sip. God is everywhere. God is in everything. But we are not able to see. We are not able to see. And because we are not able to see, we are not free. We become slaves of the mind and ego me. And that's it. Then I live. I die. I don't know who am I. Then I am reborn. And this goes on and on. All I have got to realize is what? Prabhu to hai har jaga, har shay mein wo hai. Koi jaga na jaha wo nahi hai. Kan kan mein wo hai, uske bin kuch nahi hai. Sab kuch vahi hai. Sab kuch vahi hai. When we get to that realization, Phool mein prabhu hai, Phal mein bhi prabhu hai, Mithas mein prabhu hai, Sugand bhi vahi hai. भागों के जादू में प्रभु ही समा है सब कुछ वही है when you go to a garden and see hundreds of flowers how beautiful it is it is so full of beauty my dear friends but instead of enjoying the beautiful world that God has created we have created our own temples and we have created our own gods and we have created our own lives and we believe God lives in the skies and we have forgotten the reality. Am I going to be here forever? I'm not going to be here forever. When an 18-year-old badminton player, Ashok Dechani sent me that video, 18-year-old badminton player fell down and died. 10-year-old school child walking in school fell down and died. We are seeing people of all ages, not 70, 80, 90, people of 10, 20, 30, 40, they are falling down dead. Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? How long are we going to be here? Are we living with peace? Are we living with bliss? We have lost our tranquility. We have lost our sanctity. We have lost the, this, this solace in our head, the silence in our head. Instead of discovering the universal laws which SIP has made, we create our own laws, our own judicial system. And today, I, I, rarely, I, I normally on the video, the news for one minute a day. Today, when I on for one minute a day, I found a man was arrested for uh, doing using the aeroplane gate as a toilet. He was passing more, his urine at the, at the gate, and this has gone up to the court, and the court is passing judgment for people who are passing urine in the, in the gate of the airport, when there's a toilet opposite. So this is what we have done to this world because we have not realized God everywhere and everything. If we respect, if we respect the divine everywhere, in everybody, in everything, then this is enlightenment. We will enjoy this world and we will not have to return in this samsara again and again. So we have to realize most of us are taught what? God lives in heaven. Swargame. We are taught God is an old man, long beard. Eh? God Buddha Admi, who is living above the skies. This is what we are taught. Is it true? Is this the truth? In the song it says, Prabhu to chantaro me nahi Prabhu har shay me hai Prabhu hai yehi Das main dwar jab kul jayega when you open the 10th door inside, then 
you will realize God. But why do we suffer? We suffer because we don't live as the soul. We suffer because we don't realize that we are the energy of ship. We have forgotten God. We don't see God in the beauty of his creation. Pool hai sundar, titli sundar, panchi bhi sundar hai. Badal sundar, pahad bhi sundar. Jag mein jo dikhta wo ati sundar. Jo bhi sundar wo shiv hai. Many of you have taken the pen drives with the bhajans. And some of you have not yet taken. So I don't know how many Ashok Chotwani, I believe, got the pen drive. I think uh, Samatma also got it. I think Ashok Maheshwari got the pen drive. I'm not sure how many of you have got the pen drive. Um, those who in Bangalore, many of them, Ashok Nishani is. Uh, are the versions playing well, Ashok? Versions are playing? Have you tried it? Have you tried? So these versions are so beautiful that before I write a book, the bhajan comes. First sip comes in a bhajan. Then after sip comes in a bhajan, then it comes in a book. So what is the purpose of today's presentation, my dear friends? What is the purpose of today's talk? To make you realize God is everywhere. God is in everything. This beautiful world, the clouds, the skies, the waves, they're all God. And God is coming to give darshan. <laughs> but we have, we have no time for God. We are busy searching for God. We are going to faraway pilgrimages. Tirathyatra. Kajara is Tirathyatra. Prabhu to Idari. I Prabhu to Dunni Jarao. And Prabhu to Dunni Jarao. If you want Prabhu, we just have to be in yoga. If you are in yoga, we can be connected with the divine. But if you don't, if you are in bhoga, we will suffer. And most of us, we are caught in bhoga. Instead of being in yoga, it's not our fault. Our mind and ego, our mind and ego with the senses of the body get us caught in bhoga. Then we lose our peace. And along with the peace, we lose our happiness. Tell me, you have all the money in the world. But you don't have peace. You don't have bliss. Can you be happy? You may be the richest man in the world, but if you don't have peace, can you be happy? Therefore, how can we reach that state of shanti? How can we reach that state of quiet, that peace, that stillness, that state of consciousness? This beautiful world is God, but we are running after God. And we are caught by fear, worry, stress, anxiety, depression. We don't realize the divine is everywhere. The soul, the possimum. No. Because we are slaves of the mind and ego, we have forgotten God. Huh? We are caught in thought. Because we are caught in thought. You know what? You know what? You know. Because we are caught in thought, God, we forgot. Because we are caught in thought, God, we forgot. Because of thought, because our rotten mind, our rotten mind is constantly creating rotten thoughts. And we are unable to be in a state of peace, in a state of consciousness. My dear friends, today, I have come with a very simple subject with, to you. This world is beautiful. This world is ship. This world is a manifestation. Common man cannot understand. If you say manifestation, <laughs> what do you mean manifestation? You would tell, you know, the mountain is God. <laughs> they say, ha, ha. Then what else? The river is God. Ha, ha. Then what else? The tree is God. Ha, okay, okay. Then what else? They think it's a joke. But even science has endorsed, right, that every molecule of matter is energy. This world is God. This world is God. You are God. You are God. You are not what you think you are. You are divine. You don't have a soul inside you. You are the soul. But instead of being in yoga, in Satchitananda, we are in Girish term of man mithya dukha. Either we can be in sat, chit and ananda 
or we can be man mithya and have dukha. And many of us are shuttling between the two. Some moments we are in Satchidanam because you're on this call. And the next moment you go to man mithya dukha because the mind takes command. The mind takes command, what can you do? When the mind takes command, you lose control. Then you suffer. Because then you are caught in thought. You live, you die. So today's call is to inspire you to look at this beautiful world. Huh? Administrator, can you project the title for a moment? And we look at the title one more time before we close the session. Today's session is this. What have we done to this beautiful world SIP has created? What have we done to this beautiful world? This world is so beautiful, my dear friends. Every aspect of this world is so beautiful. What have we done to this world? Instead of living in bliss and peace, we are chasing success and achievement. We are caught in our greed. We are not content fulfilling our need. How much ever we have, it's not enough. So this world should inspire us to stop, to pause. Next week, last time I had a topic, but we could do, didn't catch it. So next week, I am pondering on a subject. What are the five things that people are looking for in life? Some of you told food, shelter, clothing. I said, no, no, I'm not talking of that. I want to, I want to spend the next week pondering on this subject. What are the five things that people are looking for in life and why. This is what I'm trying to ponder on. And by hopefully by Friday, we will have a session, hopefully. Uh, of the five things that people want in life. And then every week, you know, sometimes if you have a topic that you want on a Friday, you should write to me by WhatsApp and tell me you want this topic. Because every week I get one opportunity of spending 30 minutes in talking of a subject which is very different. And sometimes it may be a subject that you want. For example, two days back, somebody spoke to me on the subject of fear and said, why is it that I have so much fear? Why is it that I have the fear of death? Somebody asked me. And then I tried to explain. We have the fear of death because we don't accept the reality of death. Correct? If you accept the reality of death, then there'll be no fear of death. Death is the reality. Death is going to come. Imagine I keep on worrying, tomorrow I'll die, tomorrow I'll die, tomorrow I'll die, tomorrow I'll die. How can I be peaceful? How can I be happy? How can I live? Sometimes we are constantly living with a worry. A false worry. Remember worry? Who remembers worry? W-O-R-R-Y, remember? Administrator, can you uh, unmute? Let me ask people. Anybody remembers what is worry? Please speak, tell me what. Yes, you are unmuted. Ashok, Ashok Chotwani. Yeah. We are, we are yeah. moving on to what is worry? W, yeah, W for waste of life. Worry is waste of life, yes. Yeah, O for overthinking. Overthinking, very good. Yeah, R for repeating fear. Repeating fear, repeating the same fear. And then? Yeah. Then again, R repeating stress. No, that's changed. Please change it. Rehearsing your problems. Okay, rehearsing your problem. Please and for, yeah, Y for yearning of mind. Yearning, good. Yeah. Not, not yeah. yearning, only yearning. Because only the yearning. mind, as long as the mind is yearning, there will be worry. Yeah. As long as the, as long as the, if, they, if there is no yearning, then there will be no worry. Where does the where does where does the worry come from? The worry comes from yearning and yearning and yearning and yearning. So, so we have we we have we have slipped into ask air today, and I was telling you uh, that if you have a topic that you want me to talk on Friday for thirty minutes, please suggest to me because. I don't choose the topic. The topic comes to me in my hands like this. Like a ball comes in the cricket, somebody's fielding on the field. 
and suddenly the, the cricketer he hits the ball and the ball comes and lands in the hand of the of the fielder so i also i just get the ball in my hand out of the ball the topic and i talk to you and i told you i don't speak i just i connect like a pen drive how you are connect the pen drive of the music to your system i connect the pen drive and then it's automatic okay i shop the i shop the channel yes please shom sir ji shom sir shom we are going to we are going to ask a question answer sir the shom yes sir ji one of your best bhajans regarding this beautiful world mm. what you missed out today yeah i know old, i know old bhajan, i know what i know what you are going to sing wo kaun chitrakar hai wo kaun chitrakar right sir ji it's a, it's a you it's very this thing sir ji very lyrics are very meaningful very very new explained for this bhajan that you uh, the scientists and all have made the train and the plane but who made the human uh, unique uh, millions of faces brain. Brain, brain who made the brain, brain oh, different we salute faces, we salute unique. the scientists we salute the scientists that made the train and the plane but who made the brain Brain. Who made the brain that made the train and the plane? We are all unique. <laughs> so many so different Ashok's, faces. Ashok song is like this. Ashok song, which he's talking about, is says, "Ye asma me tare hai, dharti pe phool khilte hai, paad hai aur nadiya hai, badal bhi yaha chhumte hai." Paadon me jo barf hai, dharti pe nadiya bhayti hai. ये कौन है जो सब की ये ये कौन है जो सब की ये ये धरती को उत्पन्न किए ये कौन है जो फूल का श्रृंगार किया यहाँ ये कौन चित्रकार है ये कौन चित्रकार अशोक ये कौन चित्रकार है वर्ल्ड एंड वी ह्यूमन बींग्स डिस्ट्रॉइंग इट विथ वॉर एंड पॉल्यूशन एंड weapons and destroying here and there ashok knows this bhajan better than me you know i i must submit i don't know my bhajans i don't know my bhajans because we have got 1363 bhajans 1300 sorry maybe 1370 i'm not sure 1360 or 1370 bhajans we have finished yes, to sir, remember please. all to remember all the lyrics is impossible so and the lyrics come to me from sip i write a bhajan for your information in 10 minutes every bhajan comes to me in 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes maximum if it's more than that that means the bhajan is flop because it's my effort i me me is doing it but when prabhu gives the bhajan it comes in 10 15 minutes and it's gone then there's a team they take the bhajan they transcribe they edit they put the music they record audio video everybody does their role as a manifestation of the divine okay let's go on to the question answer session today who is asking us questions yes i can hear some noise but i want to hear your divine voice questions any question not sub not uh, restricted to the uh, topic of today it can be any question hello yes please uh, uh what is the purpose of the life and why are we born as a human being uh i just wanted to know that what is my the purpose and what is the uh, what is god's will be, uh, behind this okay it is bala right can i call you bala yeah yeah so bala did you control your birth bala did you control how you came to earth did, did you, you choose your parents did you choose your parents and you did you choose your birth of date and your gender and your nationality did you choose no i don't i i actually i'm i'm unaware of all this ah uh, so bala you came to earth only because of your karma yeah. your karma means have you seen in your near your house is there any fruit tree near your house or in your house any fruit tree is there 
no uh, trees are there <laughs> no have, you, have you seen have you seen goa tree or mango tree what tree have yeah, you seen yeah yeah i have seen i have seen what tree have you seen a mango tree uh, goa in, a, in the mango tree have you seen apples growing no why not because it is meant for mango uh not that it is meant because the law provides that on a mango tree there can be no uh, there can be no apples only mangoes correct yeah so, yeah so this is called karma karma means as you sow so shall you reap karma yeah. means the seed you plant will decide the fruit on the tree yeah and so also the deed you plant will decide your destiny you have come as bala because of your karma yeah because of your karma you are come as bala yeah now, now i'm answering your question yeah. what is your purpose on earth yeah your purpose on earth is to escape from all the misery the triple suffering on earth and yeah. from and from rebirth you agree that anybody who is alive they have both pleasure and pain in this world you agree yeah yeah both both they have so the goal of life is to have only peace and happiness to yeah. be free from all pain and yeah. free from coming back to this earth again and again you ask ashok ashok maheshwari on this call what you want he will say i want nirvana moksha i want yeah. only i want nirvana moksha you heard the word moksha bala you know yeah. the, you know the yeah. meaning of moksha yeah there is, when there is nothing keval gyan isko bolte hai keval gyan jainism ah very good atma gyan keval gyan so many different yeah. words correct yeah yeah, yeah. How, how will you attain moksha you know uh yeah when there is nothing left uh, what we say nothing karmic account means ah, uh, how, very good are you are advanced you are advanced student bala you know everything no, so I don't so, know. so bala I so don't. bala but tell me how can i be how can somebody be free from karmic account bala how did you that, come to the call first you come first day is it it's a first yeah, day yeah yeah first time only i am attending tell me how did you how did you know about this karmic account how did you know actually i am into meditation but many a things are there that i am not uh, uh, actually uh, i i am not knowing all these things actually uh, 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 but i am into meditation into spirituality because all people left me and everything because i am alone now sab kuch okay. hote hue bhi akeli hu okay so, no, no you are not alone you are not alone remember yeah. your atma and my atma and everybody's atma in this call is one parmatma we are yeah. all one so don't yeah. feel alone from today onwards we are all one okay yeah yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. the keval gyan means your atma my atma both are parmatma so yeah. god is inside you you cannot be alone the the divine is inside you okay yeah 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 now the purpose of the purpose of life is to attain moksha yeah and the way the way to attain moksha is to be free from all karma and the way to be free from karma is to realize i am not the body mind ego that does the karma the yes. it's not so complicated if you realize i am not bala yeah, my uh, name is bala but i am not bala yeah I, ba- I i understand body and yes. atma body and atma ko alag karna ha ah, when you realize you are the atma the atma has no karma atma and the atma no. and the atma has no karma means then you become free then you get oh. mukti and mukti yeah. will lead to moksha yeah yeah i understand and the, uh, all the pains are through body only correct but the body no the pain is to the body the pain transmits to the mind the body yeah. pain is experienced by the mind also no yeah 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 and because of that only everything happens so uh, how did you come to this call who told you about this call uh, I, i saw on facebook and uh, i just uh, signed up very good so come every day every day we have the call at 8 and fridays at 7:30 come and okay. join us and okay. ask us ask all the difficult questions and remember this the purpose of life is not achievement because success and money we will leave behind the yeah. purpose of life is not even fulfillment some people think just be happy make other people happy no the purpose of life is enlightenment to become one with the divine to be liberated yeah. from this world and united with god and to realize god is not god god yeah. is not god is not shiva krishna hanuman ganesha jesus no yeah. god is a power god is supreme immortal power 
Okay, God is S I P, supreme immortal power. So this is the goal to realize you are sip. You are part of sip, the supreme immortal power. All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay, thank you for your question. So we have got some newcomers who are very interested, and I'm happy that they're asking questions. And newcomers, of course, sip came and told me, ah, newcomers are new, but we are not old. Huh? So <laughs> before <laughs> before sip yeah. catches me. Sir, your, status are, your status are too good and they are what we say uh, they give uh, nice messages from yesterday only I start, uh, started seeing so status is too good where, where do you see the status on Facebook only where do you see no no on WhatsApp okay very good very good good thank you for joining Bala now we have a question from Girdar Shetty Girdar sir please ask your question and sir Shivam Shivam sir how do we how do you continuously be in consciousness how can you remain continuously in consciousness it is very know, we are so hectic life is so hectic we yeah. tend to come down yeah absolutely absolutely you are 100 percent right that but you, you you understand what is consciousness right so there are there are two types of consciousness one consciousness is the consciousness of the soul so when you are alive, you are in consciousness. When you are alive, okay. If, yeah. the, if, if the moment you lose consciousness, what happens, Girdar? You come down to earth. No, you come dead. down to practice. No, no, you're dead. If, if the consciousness yeah, yeah. in us, if you lose the soul, you're dead. Uh, if the soul goes outside, when the soul goes, the consciousness goes. So I understood. To, this is what I wanted to explain to you all in the Zoom call. I told you. So there are two types of consciousness. The first type of consciousness is the consciousness of the soul. That you are all the time, Girdar, whether you like it or you don't like it, as long as you are alive, that consciousness is there. But the consciousness you are talking about is the awareness. Is the awareness, is the state of mindfulness, is the state of thoughtlessness. We are unable to be in that state of thoughtlessness because the mind is a monkey. The mind is constantly jumping from thought to thought, thought to thought. It will jump to yesterday, which is gone. No, yesterday is over. We don't need to go to yesterday, correct? But who goes to yesterday? You cannot go, I cannot go. But who goes to yesterday? Monkey mind. Monkey mind. That fellow, that bandar, that fellow bandar, he knows, he knows how to take us from the bandar because he's a bandar. He takes us somewhere else. Huh? Yeah. So he makes us wander. Huh? Instead of going to the mandar, the bandar take makes us wander. So the prop the problem is how to be in consciousness. We have to be in thoughtlessness. How to be in thoughtlessness? One of the best ways to be in yoga, to be in dhyana yoga, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, jnana yoga, prema yoga. If we can be in a state of yoga then Giridhar, we can try to be in a state of consciousness. But I am telling you, it is practically impossible to be in consciousness all the time. As long as you are alive, no Giridhar, you have to try to improve it on a daily basis. Suppose today you are in consciousness 20% time. Tomorrow try to be 25% time or 21% time. Every day it is sadhana. It is a sadhana. And why does, when you are in this call, you are in consciousness. You agree? When you are in this call, your mind is not going here and yeah, there. Yeah. Because you are in consciousness, because in this call, it is a yoga. It is a yogic exercise. People who are in this call, I am in this call, I am in consciousness. The moment I leave this call, what happens to me? Girdar? My monkey mind starts jumping here and there. So, we our goal is to try our best to be in consciousness all the time. But is it easy? No. Is it, is, is many people can do it? No. It is not easy at all. You know, some swamis and some gurus will come and tell you, ah, both easy. They go, I have your hand on your consciousness full time. <laughs> no, this is not possible. You put your hand on the head. If swamiji, if your guruji put your hand on the head, it cannot be consciousness all the time. So we have to be able to reach that state of stillness. We have to still the mind. We have to kill the mind. And as you come on this call, you will get more and more ideas, more and more strategies how to do it. 
Thank you, Girisa. Thank you for a very, very interesting question. Again, as I told you, I want some more questions to make this call interesting. And you all must work on questions. Unless you work on questions, how will you get the answers? And we all have questions. I have questions every day. I am telling you, even till today, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning with many questions. And from three to five, I did questions. I dictated a book and I went to sleep again. I fell asleep for one hour. But we must all, we must all work on that state. I told you, Giridhar uh, asked a very interesting question on consciousness. Do you understand? Uh, or how many of you understood these two types of consciousness which I explained? Who, who understood? You understood? Yeah, consciousness yeah. is of two. Who will explain? Consciousness is of two types. Who will explain these two types of consciousness? One is soul consciousness. Yes. When we are alive. Yes. The consciousness, consciousness we feel as I, I is a soul consciousness. Okay. And when the soul departs, you know, there is a death. But the second consciousness is uh, uh, is when we are not in the mind state. Beautiful. That is Master Blico. Master Blico explains to us the two types of consciousness. The one type of consciousness is whether you like it or you don't like it. Everybody alive is in that consciousness. Grish, you understand, Grish? So, consciousness is of the soul. The soul consciousness. And the second consciousness is not the soul consciousness. The second consciousness is thoughtlessness. Both are the same. Both are not different. But one, one emanates. One emanates from the soul. One consciousness, what Blico says, one consciousness emanates from the soul. And one consciousness emanates from thoughtlessness. So when we are in that state of thoughtlessness, then we are in that state of consciousness. All right? So now we have got Bala. Bala, you want to ask me? And then Rajinder. Who's going first? Bala or Rajinder? Who is online? Please ask your question. I can understand in this way that one consciousness is that soul consciousness which keeps you alive. Yes. We are alive because of that consciousness. Yes. One consciousness is that thoughtlessness, thoughtlessness which makes us, which keeps us in the state of ecstasy. No, no, no. One consciousness is you are alive. You are alive. Yeah. Are you aware? Okay. Touch your nose. Yeah, yeah. Touch your nose. Touch, I know. Touch yeah. your nose. This is me. This is my no, body. Touch. This is my nose. Ah, this is this is your this is your life consciousness. This life. Suppose a dead man. Can a dead man have consciousness? No, no. Why, no. why the dead man has no consciousness? Because soul is not there. Correct. Consciousness has gone so, out. So I call I call this first consciousness soul consciousness. All right. Yeah. Soul. The yeah, yeah. second consciousness. Because today I was writing my book. My book I am not I. Second edition is now ready for. It's going to be on. It's going to be published. Uh, I am not I. The second edition. In this there's a chapter called I am consciousness. So I am the consciousness. So Rajinder, the second consciousness is. When we are in a state of thoughtlessness. Thoughtlessness, yes. Thoughtlessness. Or in the state of mindfulness. Correct. Mindfulness because is thoughtfulness. The same. I can so say, I will tell today that when I am watching you, I have been watching you for half an hour now. I Correct. slightly feel that I am going to that. I am trying to go to that thoughtlessness and yes. mindfulness to thoughtlessness. So I, I feel extract mind. So in that, Correct. I like that. I, I don't want. I want to take, make me understand like 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 that way. So you're peaceful. So when, yeah, when, yeah. The, when there are when there are when there are thoughts, what happens? Ex when there are thoughts, ex when, ex ex no, when there are, no, when there, th uh, when there are there thoughts, there is no thought. There is uh, no further thought other than to watch you, sir. Then you get ananda. Then you reach uh, that yeah. state of ananda. This is ananda. Suppose this is ananda. Su suppose suppose somebody is in the state of bhajanam. Suppose right. Suppose I'm singing. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. This also takes you to a state of ananda. Because there is no thought. Sometimes, sometimes you may be, sometimes you may be uh, watching a comedy program. It's not yoga. Huh? It is, it is, music, it is, even music. 
yeah but you are but there's no thought because you are so yeah. engrossed in that program but soon after the program is over after the comedy pro program is over let's let's take football suppose you are busy watching football then you are in football yoga you are not in uh, prabhuka yoga but you are in football yoga football yoga means your mind is only on football no other thought you are watching the ball is going here the ball is going there the ball is going here the ball is going there the ball is going there and you are you know, this is football i should not be saying football yoga i should be saying football bhoga and i made a mistake then you become you are in football bhoga you are caught in football because why we call bhoga because it's of no use after football is over that doesn't have any benefit but yoga has a benefit yoga takes you to a state of ananda so these are the two states of consciousness i want you all to be aware about one soul consciousness and two the state of mindfulness and please read the book i am not i the second edition has got a completely new a new writing on it please read the complete the second edition let's con let's uh, continue the next question please who else has question anybody else with questions I am waiting for your question. Shivam sir ji. Shivam bolo Ashok. Sir ji, I have a question on karma. Yes. Since we, we all have a karmic account. Yes. And it is of several several years which we do several, not know. Several janmas. Jan janmas. Yes. And th that amount amounting to so many maybe lakh. of karmas yes so how can i i want no in this karma no one knows how much time is left Correct. so how can i dissolve the bad bad karmas <laughs> ashok i explained this ashok we are not worried about all the janmas because it is just okay just like ashok let me explain to you suppose i get one the court gives 10 years jail for some robbing i did some robbing court gave 10 years jail okay yes then sir. court gave another 20 years jail because i did some more dacoity so 10 plus 20 30 years then the court gave 20 more years jail because i did i did i did some taxation fraud so how many years jail lagok 10 20 30 okay whatever 10 20 30 40 50 years now suddenly Suddenly, the court comes to know that I am not the chore. If I am not the chore, then will I still have those thirty, forty, fifty years of saza? No, they'll be dissolved immediately. Why they'll be dissolved? Because I have I have not done anything. <laughs> I am not the chore. No, the chore is the chore is somebody else. The chore I'm is my neighbor. Yeah. So right. when you when you realize you are not the mind and ego me. all karmas of your all janmas are dissolved because it's not okay. your karma okay sir it's not your karma the karma belongs to the me mind and ego which you are not even you realize are i am not the mind and ego i am the atma ashok nichani when you realize i am atma right. then why do you have to right. have to, you have no then there is no karma for you okay thank you bliko thank you, and then yoga nashram bliko so in continuation with that uh, discussion we have to we have to trans migrate from mind to monk correct then this karma cycle will be dissolved this karma is transcend like in, in monk karma we say, will be transcend yeah. yeah yeah okay my question is uh, something different i was discussing is uh, last night with my one of my colleague about yeah. consciousness and mind yeah. and he was interested so i keep on you know giving him some some uh, uh, more definitions and then i said you know it is like a coin because you are either on mind or on consciousness you cannot right. be in the both you cannot be in the both and you know there is a coin also we have created uh, we have it created in our group uh, our mentor has created and when i'll go to india i will buy it for you i'll i'll get it for you and i'll give you You were surprised. You said, "You said, is it a coin like that?" I said, "Yeah, it is written mind on one side and consciousness on the other side." So when you are there, you can flip, and the 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 message is to flip 
always from mind to process. So this I am going to collect it from uh, from you. When I you come, you take next month. When you come, you take one hundred coins from me. I am coming next month in India to visit so India. So I'll give you. I'll give you one hundred coins, <laughs> and you can no give one hundred <laughs> people in Canada. Yeah. So hundred percent. So my question uh, is something different. So like we are talking about the problem is mind and ego, right? Yeah. But I, I was thinking and uh, you know, it came in my mind. It's not when we are dealing with the people, it is not mind and ego. It is mind square, ego square, M square is square. Why do you say that? Explain. Because when I'm talking, my mind and ego is there. <laughs> Your mind and ego and his mind and ego. <laughs> <laughs> so that becomes mind and ego square. M square is square. <laughs> you know, but and that's why complication happens. You know, but because... this complication, this complication no. leads to quarrel, fight, and it extends up to war. Now let me and diffuse. That's why we have let me two wars. Let, let me diffuse your mind square ego square. Can I diffuse it? Can I let me diffuse it? You know, Biko, here, please pay attention, Biko. You are one hundred percent right. You are one hundred percent right because my mind and your mind becomes mind square. And my ego and your ego becomes ego square. And there's a big problem. But there is no problem because I am not mind and ego. If I am not the mind and ego, then there is no mind square ego. <laughs> then there is no mind square ego square. If you are going to be, you know something, when I talk to people, some people, they are not mind. I told like sometimes we told you they are shaitan. Shaitan means that mind becomes the devil. So if you try to fight with the shaitan, then the Bhagwan in you becomes another shaitan. Hmm. So you are not supposed to Biko, you are not supposed to do mind square, ego square. There is no solution. If you are going to fight mind square, ego square, I can tell you, you are going to be defeated. Whether you are right or wrong is not the point. There is no point when you are fighting a mind and ego, you are going to lose. You no, know, let, what, let me, let me tell you. One minute. Mm -hmm. let me, before I forget, when I was a child, I learned something. I learned a very beautiful thing. I think it's from Dale Carnegie. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. He says, when you're having an argument with your friend, either you will, you will win or you will lose. Then he says, no, you will always lose. Tell me how, Bliko. Tell okay. me how, Bliko. If you win, yeah. if you win or if you lose, you will lose because you will lose your friend. Correct. So what? just to tell you correctly what you're trying to say, uh -huh. if you win, you win the argument. Argument, I win the argument, correct, yeah. Correct. But, but if... if, if, if so either either we will we will lose the argument or we will lose a friend. Right. So one of the two. So th therefore, it's very important for us that we have to not be in mind and ego state. It's very difficult, Brico. Not yeah. easy to be in this at all, right? Ha, bolo. So my my <laughs> now I was explaining in the uh, in the war context, like mind and ego of Zelensky and Putin, yeah. both are. Both are together, M square, E square. That's why oh. there is no solution. No solution. No, abs absolutely right. You are one, two hundred percent right. As long as there's two, the M square, E square, Mimi, or we'll call it, we'll call it Mimi. As long as there is Mimi, or your, I like your square equation also. So that it's impossible to have world peace. It's impossible to have world peace. Thank you. You have, you have come with a very interesting uh, point. Look something more. Let me know. But we have got Yoga Narsiman and Atmatray. But before anybody else, anything else, please come back. Yoga Narsiman. Sir, uh, like whatever happens, it happens because of uh, karma. You told me. Yes. You. Yes. Like how much percentage of it happens because of karma and how much percentage happens because of God's will, sir? There is no God. Also, like uh, by, no, no. by, uh, is, by you're gonna say and, and all that everything, stuff. everything is happening as per karma. God is not a man or a woman sitting somewhere and trying to pass judgment like the Supreme Court Chief Justice. God is not. God is not a judge. 
So God is not sitting somewhere and passing judgment. Don't think like that. God has created an automatic process. SIP has created an automatic process. Everything is karmic. Everything is being controlled by karma. Unless, unless, until the point, until the point that you transcend the karma and you become one with SIP, then it's a different equation. Sometimes miracles then happen. You, Sometimes miracles, miracles also happen part of a part of karma. Miracles also, sometimes bhakti, bhakti has got shakti, but that bhakti of shakti is also karma. If you have strong faith in God and that strong faith of God creates a miracle, that is also karma. Nah? That's also karma is creating the miracle. So, of course, the, 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 the one who has created the law, it is just like saying, you know, every every iPhone or every Samsung phone will work in a particular manner, correct? Yeah. But if iPhone or Samsung, they want to do some jugad, <laughs> they want to do some, some manipulation in the phone, they can do it. Well, yeah, yeah, Honorable AIR, yeah. I just want to convey one thing to you. Not only you are taking me towards most, but all the books which I'm giving, everybody is admiring them. I thank you very much for it. <laughs> I'm very grateful to you. All okay. people, every part of the country I give, they are very thankful. I said that is AIR, love, kind, and greatness to me. AIR, I remember you 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ashok Maheshwari. So, Ashok Maheshwari. Even, even I want to tell one thing. All we yeah. met, today only I met you. This is because of the karmic account? Obviously. Obvious, nothing happens by chance. Everything is karmic. Everything, my dear Bala, nothing in this world happens. Even when leaf will move, everything is karmic. So even uh, 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 with all these people I met, uh, uh, so there will be something. What we say? Uh, <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know how to explain. Ki, yeah. Uh, nothing is luck. Nothing happens by chance. By everything chance. is everything. Yeah, yeah. So everything. What you are saying, trying to say, everything has a meaning. Everything is programmed. Yeah, but I'm so okay. happy to meet you. <laughs> we, are, we are also very happy to have you. So Ashok Maheshwari, you know Ashok Maheshwari lives in Bombay next to Dasi's house. Dasi, you have not met Ashok Maheshwari. Ashok Maheshwari lives next to Dasi's house, and Dasi is in in that building. What the what the building called Dasi? What your building called? Uh, and CPA. NCPA. Ashok Maheshwari Dasi lives next to you. NCPA. And what's your building called, Ashok? What's your building called? Unmute, unmute. Maker Tower. Maker Tower. Okay. My building is Maker Tower, Cuff Parade, Mumbai 5. Cuff Parade. So Dasi, yeah. Cuff Parade is not far from you. So he's also on the building next to yours. So, Nearby. Yeah. So my point, my point is, you know, um, Ashok once asked me what to do for karma. Atmatra, I'm coming to you in a moment, Atmatra, next, just in a moment. So Ashok asked me what is the best way for karma yoga. So what Ashok does, Ashok writes to my office and he has a lot of, a lot of uh, what you call, tug of war, but he takes hundreds and hundreds and thousands of books he has purchased and he distributes these books as karma yoga. He takes these books and now he, he distributes. He's, I think now he's, now he's got pen drive. Now he, now he will take pen drive and distribute the bhajans to other people. So it is the idea of spreading this message. And unfortunately, this message is so simple. It is so simple that it's not available anywhere. This, this message is so simple. That's why any of you, every one of you in this call is already a master. Why you are already master? Because the message is so simple. But problem is, this message gets diluted by the mind and ego. The mind and ego does not permit you to take this message and uh, pass it on. The problem is this. If the mind and ego was not there, then you would be able to uh, send this, give this message to anybody. So thank you, uh, Bala. And I said, come again every day and ask questions. Thank you, Ashok Maheshwari. Though you came in between. Atmatre, it's your time now. Atmatre. Ah, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Uh, I want to ask that. Uh, if uh, we live with you, 
can we get enlightenment earlier What's than that? living? No, no. What did you say? With me? I ah, didn't hear. Live, live with uh, air uh, near uh -huh. you. Yeah, with you. Uh, can we get uh, enlightenment earlier than at home? Any I would uh, related to satsang. Santo ke sang rehte to jaldi ho faida hota hai. Iske liye aapke saath agar reh paaye reh sake. So. I am an ordinary man. I am an ordinary man. मैं तो बहुत ordinary आदमी हूँ देखो मैं half sleep t-shirt पहन के मैं बैठा हूँ यहाँ पे ordinary simple आदमी so but but आप मत रहे on a more serious note it is like this if your inner chamber if your inner chamber is dark but you are with you are with a with a mentor or a master or a guru who is glowing with light then yeah. the chances are that the light will go inside and it will illuminate you. Yeah. If you are if you are going to be with people who are toxic, if you are going to be with people who are full of darkness, then you will be enveloped in darkness. So your wow. question and your question, Santo ke saath rehna ya satsang mein rehna, it is obviously going to be the positive thing and it helps us in going forward. And that's why they say birds of a feather, they flock together. Huh? Birds of a feather, there's a very good story. There's a very good story of a parrot. A parrot, I've not told you all the story, but since you're asking, a parrot was flying here and there, the parrot was flying. Then it was attracted by some Gunda parrots, some Gunda parrots. Okay. It went along with the Gunda parrots to steal the anaj, the grain that was drying. In, in the terrace of somebody. These Gunda parrots are all Gundas. So the Gunda parrots, they ran away, they flew away. But this innocent parrot got hit by the stone and they caught this parrot. Now this is, you understand the story, moral of the story, right? So when we are caught in bad company, it will be negative. But when we are caught in satsang, now everybody coming on this call every day, you are seeing new, new people are coming today. Bala came, then last few days, Hemalata came, Indrani came, Giridhar came, Rajendra has come. So many new people are joining the call. It is okay. making the call more powerful and more hmm. questions. And there are more question answers. So always, Atmatrai, your being on this call will help you in enlightenment. But I cannot... I cannot come inside you and switch on your light inside you. Can I come inside you? No. But if you hold my hand, if ah. you hold my hand and if you hold me tightly, then what is me will come to you. Okay. It will come to you, but it will not go directly into you. But it all, if I was holding my guru's hand tightly, I would I used to love my guru a lot. I used to go to my guru every time and talk to my guru and listen to my guru and learn from my guru. Obviously, that takes you from guru to ru, from darkness hmm. to light. Correct. All right. Last question. Anybody before I close? Uh, yes, Anybody sir. Have I have one more, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, we all are seeking, uh, chasing after beautiful things. Yes. Uh, but uh, ugly things are having also seep in there. Yes, uh, but uh, we are hating uh, such things. Uh, why such uh, such happen? We are hating because we are hating from the point of view, from the senses, the mind, and the ego. The enlightened person doesn't hate anybody. Yeah. The enlightened person forgives everybody. The enlightened person doesn't keep grudge in his heart. Huh. The enlightened person, even if there's a chore, if there's a okay. chore also, the enlightened person will fold hands. Because the enlightened person knows inside the inside the shaitan also, inside the shaitan also, there is shit. There is Bhagwan. Yes, yes. There is Bhagwan. Bhagwan. So the enlightened the enlightened person is ready to see sip everywhere. The enlightened person sees sip in every lip. Yes. In every yes. lip. Huh? Insan yes. mein hi Bhagwan hai. Bhagavan mein hi asman mein hai. Atmatre, kana kana mein prabhu ki shakti hi hai. Har jeev mein bhagavan hai. Har jeev mein bhagavan. So my dear friends, every day 
you all create so much powerful energy in this call. All of you, you come on this call. Each of you is sip, and so many sip, so many atmas, so much power of sip comes together and makes this call so beautiful. Tomorrow, sure, I to... yes, sir. Tell me, I was going to close. Tell me. <laughs> Shivam Satsang. Shivam Satsang. Okay. We can name it Shivam Satsang. You call whatever you like, Ashok. Uh, you give whatever <laughs> name you want. So, we, with folded hands. I just wanted to ask one question. Yes, please. Even uh, uh, with the enlightenment, we have the peace, we have happiness, we have joy, our face have that chamak, everything like you, you are you are so chamakdar. And uh, samaj mein aata hai na, but uh -huh. sometimes uh, we are enlightened, sometimes we are like down, like an earthworm. Sometimes again the stage is up, again the stage is down. Why this is, uh, with no reason there is nervousness, with no reason there is happiness. I don't know how, what is this stage called. You have come for the call for the first day. When you come for 10, 15, 20 days, you will get all these answers. Okay. You cannot, if you, if you, if you are, Taj Mahal was not built in one day. If you remember one thing. <laughs> People are on this call for more than two years. People are coming oh, on this call. But and people people have become masters. People have become atmas, a paramatma. All the people oh. have become there. People in this call, I am I am the facilitator, but they are my gurus. I am oh. learning from them. All the people in this call are advanced so much. So you also will become a master very shortly. Okay, okay. But you are a wonderful, you are doing a wonderful job. I am so happy with uh, with this group. Thank you, Mala. See, see you every day at 8. Thank yeah, you, my yeah. dear, my dear Sip, all of you. Thank you and see you tomorrow at 8.